my seat. You're down here, Grant. I'm down here? Yep.
It is my pleasure to welcome you all to our 141st commencement ceremony for the Newcomerstown class of 2023. At this time, I would like to recognize our platform guests, starting with our superintendent, Mr. Jason Peoples, treasurer, Mrs. Christy Green, high school principal, Mr. Grant Favre, high school assistant principal, Mr. Dirk Gad, Middle School Principal, Mr. Brian Collins. West School Principal, Mrs. Erin Peoples. Buckeye Career Center Assistant Principal, Mr. Trent Eady. Board of Education President, Mr. Randy Addy. Board Member, Mr. Tom Addy. And Board Member, Mr. Dave Archer. We thank all of you for being here tonight and for the work that you do for Newcomerstown Schools and our students every day. We will now enjoy the NHS Choir Selection, Does the World Say, by Kyle Peterson under the direction of Ms. Erin Jobes.
Good evening. On behalf of the faculty and administration of Newcomerstown High School, we'd like to congratulate our seniors, the class of 2023. Parents, family members, and friends of these seniors, you have a great deal to be proud of. It has truly been an honor to be with these students this past school year at Newcomerstown High School. My only regret is I don't only had one year to get to know them, and I'm grateful for that year. Thank you all for your encouragement, your support, and patience that you've provided them in these past 13 years. This has been a very involved class, with students being part of student council, class officers, our principal advisory committee, teen lead, big brothers and sisters, thespians, Christian club, Nicosian, and the Leo club. I'm sure I've missed some. They were an extremely active class inside and outside the hallways of NHS. One thing above all else that we hope we take, we hope they take from these four years is to serve others. Serve your communities. Get involved. Don't wait to be asked. Just show up and serve. The accomplishments and involvements that they've had at NHS is reflective of future success. So we'd like to take a few moments and recognize you at this time. So seniors, when I call a group that you've been a part of, please stand and remain standing. With those seniors who receive scholarships from Newcomerstown Scholarship Foundation, local sources, and their respective colleges and universities, please stand now. With the senior members of the National Honor Society, National Technical Honor Society at Buckeye Career Center, please stand. With those seniors who will be receiving an honors diploma, please stand. With the seniors who have already graduated from Buckeye Career Center, please stand. With those students who will be entering your workforce in their skill or trade, or those who have a job waiting on them, please stand. Let's give all our future graduates a round of applause. At this time, I would like to introduce senior Marley Moner. Marley finished top of the class of 2023. Marley has proven herself as a prominent leader at Newcomerstown High School. She has been active in volleyball, majorette, track, teen lead, National Honor Society, and that's just all the ones I could think of. Her future plans are to attend the Ohio State University and major in business administration. Ladies and gentlemen, Marley Moner. Good evening, friends, family, faculty, and most importantly, the class of 2023. I'm honored to be able to speak to you today and would like to thank each and every one of you for being here. To my classmates, I would like you to take the opportunity to take a deep breath and look around. For we will never experience this exact moment with these people again. I'm incredibly proud to share this moment with you all as we celebrate our hard work today. As we are eagerly waiting to walk across this stage, we are surrounded by loving people who have supported us these past four years and helped us reach this milestone. Whether you can't wait to go explore the world or are eager to start a new chapter here, 
It is undeniable that our community, our school, and our class has made us who we are today. It is my hope that we never forget the lessons we have learned these past 12 years, the good and the bad, the relationships we've had, biggest influences. The people that we've looked up to have presented us with the greatest learning opportunity, not necessarily in the classroom, but through daily interactions. Whether that be the supportive environment of Mrs. Patrick herself, a big grab on your shoulders from Mr. Baker, or a side eye from Mr. Addy and Mr. Morrow as you do something that you probably shouldn't be doing. Or perhaps your most memorable moment is your heart racing while sitting in front of Mr. Peoples because we have all made some mistakes. The truth is, those mistakes are only the first of many that we will make in life. Luckily, we had these people and so many others watching our every move, simply trying to lead us in the right direction. They have cheered for us during the good times, helped keep us going when times were tough, and even advocated for us during unsettling times. If I'm being honest, if you told me back in July that I would be here doing this today, I wouldn't have believed you. Because although I've diligently worked for this moment my entire life, in July I thought my world was falling apart. When our teams, band, and schools were experiencing some uncertainty and changes just a few short months from the start of senior year, it was extremely challenging. Day after day, I was frustrated for myself and so many others because of things that were simply out of my control. Eventually, I got the courage to view these challenges as opportunities. I often said, it can only go up from here, and trust me, I meant it. These moments of frustration and change led to a very successful senior year that wouldn't have been possible without the people who know me best. My supportive friends, teammates, Classmates, along with many coaches and teachers, assured me that we were, in fact, all in this together. Over the past 12 years, we have all had times where it seemed like nothing went our way in life. But the truth is, everything went our way. Every challenge, decision, and all the people in our lives have led us to exactly where we are now. The great American novelist F. Scott Fitzgerald once said, I hope you live a life you're proud of. If you find that you're not, I hope you have the courage to start all over again. I hope you are proud of yourself today, and I hope that you have taken advantage of the opportunities our school and community have presented us these past 12 years. However, if you have not, it is never too late to start. I am certain that the support of these wonderful people does not end today, and wherever you go, there will always be someone eager to provide guidance and support. However, it will be pretty hard to find influences as great as the ones we have in Newcomerstown. I'm incredibly thankful for these individuals who took interest in us even when we were just stupid freshmen. You may not have realized it, but these individuals have made a great impact in our lives. They've literally changed our lives. They taught us a lot more than the types of macromolecules, the different scenes of Macbeth, and how to factor polynomials, none of which are necessarily my cup of tea. They helped us explore career choices, apply for jobs in colleges, gave us a lot of advice, and listened to many rants about our water bottles not being clear enough, our shorts not being long enough, and until this year, our football team not being quite good enough. To have such an impact on who we turned out to be is significant. From, so from the class of 2023, I thank you. The truth is, I decided to speak about these educators today because their guidance has prepared me for my future and provided me with the confidence to deliver this speech. As a result of these educators, I am eager to start my next adventure. Although I will always be a proud Trojan, I am also now an Ohio State Buckeye. Columbus will be a place with a new set of endless opportunities, and I don't think I could forgive myself if I didn't think take this one. OH! Oh. <laughs> Thank you, that was fun. To my classmates, I have been so excited to see all of your future plans, and I am so eager to see what we can accomplish in the next few years. Whatever you do, I hope you think big and live a life you're proud of. Thank you.
Guys ready? It is now time to present diplomas and diploma covers to those seniors of the class of 2023 who have met all state and local requirements for graduation. Hunter Ray Amor will be entering the workforce with a job at Extreme Trailer in Dover. Kirsten Ann Marie Amor will be entering the workforce. Anne Therese Bermger will be entering the workforce. 
Henry J. Booth will be pursuing a career in business. Peyton Jean Bruce plans to attend Buckeye Career Center Adult Education for Photography. Javen Andrew Bryant will be earning an associate's degree in criminal justice to pursue a career as a police officer. Xavier Sincere Malik Burkhart plans to begin his own comic book burrier, plans to attend Kent State Tuscarawas to pursue a degree in cybersecurity. An associate's degree in horse production and management. Jesse James Button will be attending will be attending COTC to become a nurse. Samuel Lee Cole will be attending Stark State to become an automotive mechanic. Her staging license. Clint Ma in studio art and art education. And a master's degree in school counseling. Gabriella Raquel will be entering the workforce. Weston James Higgins will be at Buckeye Career Center Adult Education for the EMT program. State for phlebotomy and medical assisting. Shop. Lindsay May Lidke will be little plans to attend Ohio State Newark to earn a degree in business administration. The workforce. Jonathan David McConnell. Riley Brooke McCourt will, per, will be. Leah Dawn McMahon will be pursuing a career in cosmetology. Do a career as a respiratory therapist. Logan Madison Miller plans to attend Kent State. Marley Meg Moner will be attending the Ohio State. Ashton Blake Murphy will be entering the workforce. Sing home. And minor in psychology. She will also continue her athletic career by playing softball for the university. In early childhood education to a bachelor's degree in theater studies. She then plans to complete her, their master's program for in forensic psychology. Aiden Tyler Robinson will be entering the workforce. Be entering the workforce with a job at Buckeye BOP with plans to pursue education at a trade school. Lincoln Renee Stahl will be entering the entering the workforce. J. C. Renee Tedro plans to attend Kent State. U Garrett Lee Thompson will be entering the workforce in graphic design. Paul Wyatt Thompson will be entering the workforce. <laughs> Alyssa Colleen Trombley will be entering the workforce. Logan Mitchell Underwood Weaver will be entering the workforce and plans to pursue education at a trade school. Major in chemistry. Chance Matthew Mercer Warren no. will be continuing no. his employment at Walmart. Brandon Matthew Weber will be attending Akron University to pursue a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering.
Brianna Lexi Nicole Faith Williams will be pursuing a nursing degree from Kent State Tuscarawas while continuing her part-time service industry work. We would like to acknowledge the following students who are graduating in absentia today. Bryn Jaden Ehrenholt, Naya Nicole Baker, Austin Leo Beckett, Madison Jolie Cunningham, Ethan Isaac Gibson, Edward Michael Montana, Blake Eugene Newkirk, David Cole Newkirk, Gavin Mason Preecy, Alyssa Marie Roberts, Gregory Scott Wallace III, and Marcus Kayshawn Watson. At this time, will everyone please stand for the playing of our alma mater. You may be seated, except for the seniors. <laughs> it is now time for the ceremonial changing of the tassel. Lexus, Cabot. It's a lot of pressure here. You guys ready? Okay. Hands up to our tassel. All right, move them over. Boom. Go back to your seats. Okay. Nice job. Oh, no, no, no. Not yet. Not yet. I haven't said the thing yet. I'm just kidding. We're ready. Everyone, please stand. Everyone, please stand for the recessional.
to the Newcomer Town School Board of Education Administration special guests and to the audience in attendance today, I would like now to present to you Newcomer Town High School graduating class of 2023. Thank you guys.